I think all, most of us know what amen be means. Det skal ske. Let it happen. Lad det være på den måde. Let it be as it is. Hvis han er for dig. He's, if he is for you. Hvem kan så være imod dig? Then who can be against you? Amen. Amen. Lad det ske. Let it be. Lad det være på den måde. Let it be accordingly. Lad hans velsignelser. May his blessings. Flyde over dit liv. Be flooding upon your life. I tusind generationer. Through generations. Til din barn. Through your children. Din barns barn. Your children, children. Og din barn og barns barn. And your great, great, great Amen. children. Amen. Hallelujah. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Lady. Far vi ber for vores familie nu her til morgen. Father we pray for our family this morning. Din velsignelse ind over deres liv. Your blessing over their family. Vi beder for alle kalder og vi kalder på alle de fortabte sønner og døtre. We are calling for all the lost sisters and brothers. At de skal brothers. come to Fadern's house. Let them come to the Father's house. Come in on a fast velsignelse. Let them come under the blessing of the Father. Amen. Amen. Familie medlemmer. The members of the family som ikke tjener dig. Who doesn't serve you? De skal komme til at tjene dig. Let them begin serving you. Hustru og mænd. Husbands or wives. Som ikke tjener dig. They don't serve you. Vi beder for dem nu. We pray for them. At din velsignelse skal komme over deres liv. That your blessing may come over their life. At du dem. That you are calling for them. Let it ske her. Let it be. Amen. Amen. Let it be på den måde. Let it be accordingly. Amen. Amen. Han er god. He is good. Der er ingen ligesom ham. There is no one like him. Er det rigtigt? Is that Der er true? ingen ligesom vores Gud. There is no one like our God. Han er suveræn. Han er god. He is sovereign. He is good. Han er. He is. Den eneste. The only one. Lad os slå op i Johannes evangeliet. Let's go to the book of John. The Gospel of John. Vi har vi har ofte hørt at æblets fremtid det er i kernen. We usually hear that the future of the apple is in the sea. Og jeg tror, hvis du nogensinde har hørt Richard Hayes, som også kommer her i under konferencen. And if you have listened to Richard Hayes and he will be attending to the conference. Så er det en af de ting, som han ofte siger. Is one of the statements that he mostly speak. Æblets fremtid er i kernen. The future of the apple is in the seed. Din fremtid er i din ånd. Your future is in your spirit. Ikke i dit hoved. Not in your head. Ikke også din arbejdsgiver. Not in your employee. Men din fremtid er i din ånd, lige midt i dig. But your future is in your spirit. Hvem bor in midt you. i dig? Who lives Det gør Gud. It's God. Han er vores fremtid. God is our future. Og vi læser her i Johannes evangelie kapitel 17. In the, book, in the Gospel of John chapter 17. Og jeg læser fra vers 15. And I will read from the verse 15. Uh, jeg beder ikke om, at du vil tage dem ud af verden, men om, at du vil bevare dem fra det onde. Så Jesus, han beder for hans disciple, men han beder også for os. Jesus praying for his disciple, but also for us. De er ikke af verden. No, they are not from this ligesom world. Ligesom jeg ikke er af verden. As I am not from this world. Vi lever i den her verden. We are living in the world. Men vi tilhører et andet rige. But we are belong to another kingdom. Og vær sådan. Hælger dem ved sandheden, for dit ord, det er sandhed. Guds ord er sandhed. The word of the God is truth. Vi bliver hælget ved Guds ord. We are made holy. Vi bliver renset ved Guds ord. We are cleansed by vi the word of the Lord. Vi bliver levende gjort ved Guds ord. We being, we come live Fordi in the word of God. Fordi når vi forstår sandheden, But when we understand the truth, så skal sandheden sætte os fri. And the truth will set us free. Og sandheden, det er Guds ord. And the truth is the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hvad er den? Ligesom du har sendt mig til verden, således har jeg også jeg sendt dem til verden. Så Gud han ønsker at sende os. God want to send us. Mænd og kvinder som os. Men and women as us. Ligesom Gud han sendt Jesus. As God sent Jesus. På samme måde sender Jesus os. The same way Jesus is sending us. Vi sent til den her verden. We have been sent to this world. Vi lever i den her verden. We are living to this world. Men vi ikke er den her verden. But we don't belong to this world. Vi er ambassadører i den her verden. We are ambassadors in vi this world. Vi er i den her verden på vegne af et mm. andet rige, en anden konge. We are in this world representing another kingdom. 
Amen. En anden konge. Another king. Jesus Christus. Jesus Christ. Vi er for at repræsentere ham. We are here to represent him. I den her verden. In this world. Der hvor vi bor. Here where we are living. Han er det underlig. He's a wonderful. Anden grønne gør bog kapitel 16. Der er en lille fejl i noterne. Der står 15, men det er vers 16, kapitel 16. In the book of Chronicles, chapter 16, the second chronicle. Og vers 9. And verse 9. Det står der, at Herren, han søger. He said that the Lord is searching. Over hele jorden. All over the world. Efter et menneske. Searching of one person. Hvis hjerte er helt med ham. Whose heart belongs to him. Herren, han spejder ud over jorden. God is searching. For at se dig. Looking for you. Hvis hjerte. Whose heart er helt med ham. is in accordance with him. Vi beder i fader vor. We are praying our father. Ske din vilje på jorden. Jo, uh, may your, på may your will happen måde, here. På samme måde som den sker i himlen. As it is in heaven. Guds vilje ikke at først og fremmest at du skal komme til himlen. The will of God is not that you come to heaven. Guds vilje det er at himlen skal komme på jorden. The will of God that the heaven may come here Amen. on earth. Amen. Og hvordan vil han gøre det? So how are we going han to do it, so? efter mænd og kvinder. He's searching, looking for men and women. Som han kan deponere hans herlighed i. Who is going to power out his glory. Og i det øjeblik, du blev født på ny. And the moment you have been born again. Der kom han og tog bolig i dit indre. He came and take residence in han your... Han bor ved troen i dit hjerte. And live will by faith in your heart. Himlen er her med på jorden. Heaven is here on earth. Der hvor du går. Where you are walking, der repræsenterer du det rige. You are representing the kingdom. Guds rige. The kingdom of God. Jeg er i Danmark. I am Denmark. Jeg er i Tisbet. I am Tisted. Men når jeg kommer, But when I'm walking, så repræsenterer jeg Guds rige. I'm representing the kingdom of God. Når du kommer, when you are walking, når du går, when you go, i ty på Mars, hvor end du går, in ty, wherever you så are, repræsenterer du kongen. You are representing the king. Jesus Christus. Jesus Christ. Han bærer du i dig. You are going with him. Guds rige er inden i dig. The kingdom of God is within you. Amen. Amen. Han vil have, at hans herlighed har en permanent plads. He wants his glory to have a permanent place. I gamle testamente der ser vi himlen den åbnet og lukket. In the Old Testament we see we read that the heaven open and locked. Vi ser Guds herlighed komme over konger og profeter. Well, the glory of God come over prophets. Men ikke over mennesker generelt. But not over normal people. Så det var som om at det åbnet og lukket, åbnet og lukket. It was like opening, shutting down, opening, Men closing. Men han han spejlede over jorden. But the Lord is searching on earth. Og der var en mand ved Jordan flod. And there was a man on the Jordan Jesus river. Jesus Christus. Jesus Christ. Der skulle døbes af hans fætter Johannes. Who was to be baptized by his cousin John. Der, der står, at himlen den blev revet op. It said the, op, the heaven opened. I 4000 år fra Adam og Eva. For, for, for years, uh, 4000 years from og Adam and Eve. Up to Jesus. To then Jesus. Der himlen åbnet og lukket, åbnet og lukket, åbnet og lukket. The heaven was opening and closing, opening and closing. Men der står her ved Jordan floden. But here on the Jordan river. Der var der en mand. There was a man. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Perfect, sin free. Perfect, sin free. Himlen opens over ham. The heaven open over him. Og der lød en røst fra himlen. And the voice come on from heaven. Han er min søn den elskede. This is my beloved son. I ham har jeg vel behag. In him I am pleased. Og der står ingenting om at himlen lukkes igen. And it not written the uh, heaven closed day. again. From that day, from that day, from that that day for blue himlen open over Jesus life. The heaven stayed open over Jesus life. Det er fantastisk. It is wonderful. Det skaber nogle nye muligheder. It creates new opportunities. Hvor Guds herlighed kunne lande. That the glory of God can land. Og det fantastisk er at vi kan modtage hans retfærdighed. And what is amazing that we can receive his righteousness. Så du og jeg kan have en åben himmel. You and me can have an open heaven. Ikke på grund af vores egne gode gerninger. Not because of our good deeds. Men på grund af den syndfri gode gerninger. But because of the one, the sin-free. Jesus deed. Christus. Jesus Christ. Her er et spørgsmål. Here is a question. Hvordan fik Gud 
alle folk rundt omkring Egypten til at komme og spise ved Josefs bord. How did God made all, all people in, in Egypt come to eat on the uh, table, table of Joseph? Når der ingen mad var alle mulige andre steder. Where there was no food everywhere else. Så var der mad i Egypten. But there was food in Egypt. Så kom de og spiste ved Josefs bord. And they come to eat on the table of Joseph. Hvordan gik det til? How did it happen? Hvordan skete det? How did it come to be? Jo, Josef. Joseph. Han byggede beholder. He built the containers. Han byggede lader. He built a church house. Han købte forråd. He bought before. Med andre ord, han byggede beholder, som kunne holde himlen åben. That means he, he construct containers that can make, make heaven open. Selv under tørke. Even the, under the, the drought. drought. Selv under hungersnød. Under the uh, hunger. Så var der mad. There was food. Amen. Amen. Identitet. Identity. Hvem du er. Who you are. Det holder himlen åben over dit liv. Keeps the heaven open Hvis over your life. Hvis du har den rigtige identitet. If you have the correct identity. Amen. Amen. Joseph han fik to sønner. Joseph had two sons. Og de repræsenterer Jesus og kirken. And they represent Jesus and the church. Den ene hed Manasse. One of them was called Manasseh. Og den anden hed Ephraim. And the other was called Ephraim. Og Manasseh det betyder evnen til at tilgive og glemme. And Manasseh means the ability to forget. Hvad var det Jesus han gjorde? And what did Jesus do? Han kom for at tilgive alle dine sønner. He came to forgive all your sins. Uanset hvad du har gjort. Regardless what you have done. Uanset hvor du kommer fra. Regardless where you are Uanset from. Uanset hvor elendig du måtte have været. Regardless how Uanset bad you have been. Uanset hvor dyb du sank. Regardless how deep you have sunk. Så er der mulighed for tilgivelse. There is opportunity for forgiveness. Og han glemmer. And he forgives. Han fjerner dine sønner så langt som West er fra øst. He deletes your sins as east is Sjøde from the west. Nord. North and south. Og han husker dem ej mere. And he never for, forget them. for Jesus. Amen. Så i Joseph der blev der profeteret igennem hans to sønner. In Joseph they were prophesied through his two sons. Manasseh. Manasseh. Evnen til at glemme. Ability to forget. Tak for Jesus. Thank Jesus. Han er billedet på Jesus. He's the picture of Tak Jesus. for Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Hvad jeg ikke selv kunne. What I was not able to Hvad do. Hvad du ikke selv kan. What you are not able to do. Det kan Jesus. Jesus is able to do. And now you are full standing till you. And when you are to completely forgiven. Så profeterer den anden søn Ephraim. And Ephraim is prophesying to you. Som betyder frugtbar. That means fruitfulness. When you are free as son. When you are fru- free from sin. Så kan du være frugtbar. You can become fruitful. Og det er hvad Gud han ønsker for kirken. And this is what God wants det, for the det church. Det er Gud han ønsker for dig. This is what God wants for you. At dit liv skal være frugtbar. That your life may be fruitful. Halleluja. Amen. Du tager imod Jesu fuldbragte værk. You are receiving the completeness masterpiece of han Jesus. Han blev straffet for din skyld. He was uh, he was punished for you. Du tager imod tilgivelse. You receive forgiveness. Og han glemmer. And he forgets. Hvad med om du tilgiver dig selv? What about you forgiving yourself? Hvis han har tilgivet dig. If he has forgiven. Hvad med om du blev enig med ham? What about you uh, united with him? Det er bare forslag til dig. It's just. For det vil gøre dit liv meget nemmere. It will make your life easy. There are so many Christians that sleep around. There are so many Christians who are holding, carrying some de huska. So think that they are remembering. Men han huska det ej mere. But the Lord never remembers it. Du tilgiv. You have been forgiven. Tilgiv dig selv. Forgive yourself. Glem det. Forget it. Ligesom Jesus har glemt det. As the Jesus has forget it. Men for evnen til at glemme. You have received the ability to forget. Halleluja. Amen. Halleluja. Amen. Så kan du blive frugtbar. Then you can become fruitful. Han er vidunderlig. He's amazing. 
Når du er tilgivet, when you are forgiven, for at høre godt efter, når du er tilgivet, altså, hvor meget mere end tilgivet kan du være? When you are forgiven, then how much forgiven can you be again? Kan du være tilgivet, tilgivet? Can you be double, double t- forgiven? Eller er tilgivet, så er, du, så er det færdigt. Or you have been forgiven, it is over. Det er vi Hvis are du er tilgivet, correct? så er det væk. When you are forgiven, then it's over. Når vores barn, de har gjort noget forkert, så When? bliver vi ikke ved med at minde dem om, kan du huske, hvad du gjorde i går? Kan du huske, hvad du gjorde sidste uge? Kan du huske, hvad du gjorde sidste måned? When our child made something wrong, you cannot always remember them. Remember that time you did this wrong, you did this, this wrong, and the other month, and this. Så so har vi som forældre evnen, vi glemmer det. As parents, we have the ability to forgive. Hvor meget mere? Then how much Vil more? Vil jeg så i himlen? As your father in heaven. Glem dig, eller will, glem det du har gjort. We forget what you have done. Så når du er tilgivet. So when you have been forgiven. Så har du fortjent. Then you, have, you are deserving. Og det er der mange kristne, der har svært ved at sige. This is uh, one thing that many Christians don't want to say. But the truth is, så har du fortjent. Then you are deserving. Full adgang til guddommen, altså træenigheden. A total access to uh, the trinity. Der er ingenting, der hindrer. Then there's nothing in your way. Forhænget er væk. The curtain has been taken away. Der open hele vejen ind i det allerhelligste. It's totally open to the whole, the most holiest place. In front of God's throne. In front of the throne of God. Hvis du er tilgivet uden søn. When you have been forgiven of your sins. Så er du perfekt. Then you are perfect. Så er du hellig. You are holy. Så er du ren. You are clean. Så er du retfærdig. You are righteous. Ikke på grund af dig selv. And not because of yourself. Men på grund af det han gjorde for dig. But because of what he Hvis did for you. Hvis du er tilgivet. If you have been forgiven, so you come from far, then you can come from father to in any time. So you come from for none's throne. You can come from the throne of grace. Often help in the right time and receive help on the correct time. Are they good news? Is it that not the good yes, news? Yes, it's enorm good news. I found it to be a good news. Apple's future is in the sea. The future of the apple is in the sea. Min framtid er i min on. My future lies within my spirit. Mange kristne, many Christians, når de får et æble, when they receive an apple, så spiser de den. They, spe- they eat, eat it. Og det gør vi jo så naturligt set. And we do it uh, naturally. Men i morgen så har vi ingen æble. But tomorrow we no have more apple. Så vi gerne have et æble mere. Then we want to have another apple. Så hele vores liv det handler om at få det næste æble. Then all our life is about receiving an apple, the next apple. Er det rart? Is that comfort? Nej, det er ikke rart. Is that comfort? No, det er derfor, at inden i æblet, der er der kerner. That is why in an apple, there is the seed. Og inden i hver det æble. And in every apple. Så er der kraften til at reproducere sig selv. There is a power to reproduce itself. Du brækker det æble op. You take you okay, cut the apple. Så er der, jeg ved det, hvor mange der er. 10, 20 kerner. I don't know how many seeds there are in there. 10, Og 20. I, I hver eneste kerne. In, in each and every seed. Der er der træ. There is a tree. Hvis du planter de kerner i en lille pot. If you sow the seed in a pot. Så har du af et træ. You have one tree. Muligheden for 20 træer but ability to have opportunity to have maybe 20 trees som efter 5 år in 20 years 5 måske, five years måske kan hver træ hver år bære 100 æbler eller mere maybe one tree can produce 100 apple det det der er inde i dig that is what is lies in you det det gud han er deponeret i din ånd That is what God has put in your spirit. Husk nu, ikke et æbletræ. Remember men, not men an, alt, hvad du har tree. behov for. But whatever your desire. Alt, hvad du har brug for. Whatever you need. Det er han deponeret i din ånd. He has restored it in you, spirit. Du brækker æblet. You break the apple. Du sår ka- sædekornene. You sow the seed. Og inden længe, så har du en hel have. Med And not long you have a whole garden with apple trees. Hvilket betyder? What means? Du har æbler for evigt. You have apple forever. 
Hvordan får jeg det op herinde? Then how am I going to take it from Som er inside? min ånd. The what lies inside me. Jeg sad og tænkte her over weekenden. I was thinking about it in, uh, during the weekend. Hvad er det, at du, Gud, har deponeret i min ånd? What is it that God, you have restored in me, you have restored in me? In Gud, han tænker altid i reproduktion. God thinks always in reproduction. Det kan godt være, at man sådan rent menneske siger, ah, nu er jeg træt, nu gider jeg længere, jeg er ved at være gammel. Maybe as a human, you can say, ah, nah, I'm tired, I don't want anymore. Men I'm du old. og jeg, vi har ansvar for de kerner, han har placeret i vores liv. But you and me, we have responsible for the seed Og dem that vil han, at det skal reproducere. And we have to be productive, Amen. reproduce. Amen. 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 Vi har hørt om de fem doktriner. We have heard about the five doctrines. Jeg har allerede berørt den første af dem, det er søndernes forladelse. We have touched about it in the forgiveness of sin. Søndernes forladelse så rig som Guds nåde er. Or the forgiveness of sin the riches as the uh, the grace of God is. Guds ord siger der var synden, den blev stor, der blev noget en overstrømmet. The Bible say where the sin is in multitude, the grace of God also is bigger. Det er derfor uanset hvor meget og hvor stor og hvor dyb du faldt. That's my, that means no matter how deep, how huge, how enormous. Så er noget mere overstrømmende rig. The grace is above and beyond. Hans noget. His grace kan dække alt. Is able to cover everything. Søndernes forladelse. The forgiveness of sin. Den næste ting det er du får del af guddommelig natur. And the second thing that you receive, you are a partaker of the nature of God. Du er din ånd blev your, født på ny. Your spirits become born again. Man kan sige, det er æblet inden i dig. That means they are up inside you. Kernen til liv inden i dig. The seed of life inside du you. Du bliver en del af Guds familie. You become a part of a family of Far, God. Far, der var du en del af Satans familie. Before you were part of the Satan family. Nu er du blevet overført fra mørkets rige og ind i hans elskede søns rige, lyses rige. And now you have been transferred from the darkness to the light. Det sker herinde. It happens inside. Og det herinde, det skal gennemsyre hele dit liv. And from inside it's out to vi cover hør, all vi, your body. Vi hørte Henrik, han prædikede om det for en par uger siden. Somebody preach, Henrik preached about it in the first three det, weeks det ago. Det er surdegn, der skal gennemsyre hele brødet. It was the... Uh, hvad hedder det? The sour, uh, the sour dough is how to cover all your life. Så når han putter den ind i din ånd, så skal det gennemsøge hele dit liv. When he puts it in your spirit, it's how to cover all your spirit. Du, får del, du bliver en del af Guds familie. And you become a part of the family of God. Og næste der du bliver iklædt Herrens retfærdighed. And the second, uh, the third you are You covered in the righteousness of God. I onsdag der var der mange der havde syner herinde af mennesker i hvide klæder. Last Wednesday people have a vision. People are wearing white clothes. Hvad repræsenterer det? What does that mean? Mænd og kvinder der vandrer i retfærdighed. Men and women walking in righteousness. Som er tilgivet. Which have forgiven. En del af familien. A part of a family. I klædt. Clothed. Det rene tøj. The clean. Halleluja. Amen. De tre ting sker faktisk når du bliver født på ny. The three things happen when you are born again. Du bliver tilgivet. Du bliver forgiven. Du bliver en del af familien. You become a part of family. Du får rent tøj på. And you receive clean. Det gør clothes. dig i stand til. And this make you able to. Som jeg nævnte lige før at komme ind for en Guds trone til enhver tid. To come in front of the throne of God at Men nu når du er fri af synd. And when you are free from sin, du er en del af familien. You are part of a family. Gud er din far. God is your father. Du er iklædt retfærdighedens kappe. You have been clothed the righteous cap. Det de giver dig autoritet. That give you authority. Det mindste barn i Guds rige. The smallest child in the kingdom of God. Det er derfor Jesus han siger. That's what Jesus say. At den mindste at i det rige. The the least. Den mindste i Guds rige. The least in the kingdom of er God. Er en alle i gamle testamentet. Is greater than all in the Old Testament. <laughs> er vildt. That is amazing. Den mindste, the least, i Guds rige, the kingdom of God, er større, is greater, end David, 
Dann David. In Samson. Samson. In, in Daniel. Daniel. In Isaiah. Isaiah. Alle du kan nævne. All that you can Den mindste. mention. This list. Det kan godt være, at du tænker, at jeg er den mindste. Yeah, maybe you are thinking, I'm just a human being. Husk på, Remember, den mindste. The least I det rige. In this kingdom. Er større. Is greater. End den største. Than the greatest. I gamle testament. In the old testament. Jeg kan huske Richard, han plejer at sige, I remember Richard's user say Ali Gamma Testament all in the Old Testament at dwell in forhold to die ah so, <laughs> uh, dwells according to you Timenda they are small they were Jesus I got that is what Jesus have done then and uh, the end result and the second res- result of being forgiven in daily family become the part of a family that far declared Having the cloth of righteous. There, you had formal with my life. You have a purpose with your life. The scape of form of my life. It creates a purpose for your life. The form say able for evit. It creates a purpose forever. Amen. Amen. Gud han ønsker at flyde ind og igen en sådanne mennesker og på sådanne steder. God want to come into the life of this kind of person. Og ikke som i gamle testamente flyde ind og igen må væk, men for at blive der. Not like in the Old Testament come in and uh, and then go away but stay there. Hallelujah. Amen. For them that have then forstolse. For those who have this understanding. Han vil tage for dem der ingenting har og give det til dem der har. He will take from those who doesn't have anything and give this to those who have. Og det har jeg et kæmpe problem med. I fought with this a lot. Jeg har et kæmpe problem med Gud lige præcis på det. I had a th- fought with God with the, for this a Gud, lot. Gud, hvordan kan du være bekendt og tage fra dem der ingenting mm. har og give det til dem der allerede har? God, how can you make it taken from those who doesn't have anything and give it to those who already have something? Du lyder som kapitalist Gud. You are like a capitalist. Du er i hvert fald ingen socialist Gud. You are not a socialist, no. God. Hvad betyder det? What does it mean? In day, that felt children. Then then the come a time where In they, day, they the up from understanding him. come. Han prøver godt efter her, fordi det ikke kan forvandle dit liv. For det Listen, this can liv. change your life. Han tager he take for them that ain't for stole so har from those who doesn't have understanding or give it to them that have for stole and give to those who has understanding. Therefore, skulle du aldrig søge efter penge. That's why you don't have to search for money. Du skal søge efter forståelse. Search for understanding. For penge er et resultat af det, du forstår. For money is the result of what you understand. Du er nødt til at høre. You have to listen. Forstå. Understand. Og gøre. And act. Forstår du det? Amen. Du må høre. Listen. Mange kristne, vi har hørt og hørt og hørt. Men Christians have listened and listened and listened. Og mange kristne har også forstået og forstået og forstået. And men have also understand, understand, understand. Men han vil give til dem, der har hørt og forstået og begynder at gøre det, de forstår. But he will give to those who have listened and understood and act according to what they have listened. Det er sådan det fungerer i Guds rigt. And that is how it works in the kingdom of God. Kirken. The church. Vi opfører os som om, at vi stadigvæk er i ørkenen. We are behaving as if we are still in the desert. Hvad var det, der skete i ørkenen? What happened in the desert? Der gjorde Gud miraklerne. God made miracles. Der fik de varme ved en, ved en ildsøjle. They received well, fire from the pile of fire. Der fik de skygge fra en sky. They received shadow from a... Der fik Sky. Der fik de vand ud af en klippe. They receive water from a rock. Der havde de mirakler mad der kom fra himlen hver dag. Miracle food come from heaven each and every day. Både brød og fugle. For uh, bed uh, and bread. Alle sammen overnaturlige mirakler. 
supernatural miracles. Alle de ting skete alle i ørkenen. And everything happened I in the I break the Torah grandson Jordan or in the forjettet land. And at that moment the moment that they came out from the desert and so in the ingen, promised land. Der var ingen fugl der faldt fra himlen. There were no bird from heaven. Der var ingen manna fra himlen. There were no manna falling from heaven. Der var ingen vand fra klippen. There was no water from the rock. Der var ingen skygge fra en sky. There was no shadow from the. Der var sky. ingen ildsøjl til at varme dem. There was no pillar of fire warming them. I løfteslandet. In the promised land. I Guds rige. In the kingdom of God. That up to die. It's up to you. Hvad du har hørt. For what you have listened. Forstået. And understood. Og begynder at gøre. And act accordingly. Og derfor er der mange kristne, der lever miserable kristne liv. That is why many Christians living a miserable life. For de venter og beder, Gud gør noget. Mm. Because they are praying and waiting for God to do something. Gud gribe ind. God intervene. Giv mig et mirakel. Give me a miracle. Og Gud siger noget, han gør det indimellem. God, by the grace of God, is do something Men once in a while. Men han har givet dig redskaberne. But he has equipped you. Han har investeret alt, hvad du har behov for i dit indre. He has invested everything that you need of in your... Hvis du vil have æbler. If you want apples. Så må du plante sædekornene. Then you have to plant the seed. Løfteslandet, der er nok nogen, der vil stejle lidt over det, jeg siger her. Løfteslandet. The promised land, some maybe were double-minded about what so, I'm saying. Jeg så et opslag her for nylig på, uh, på Facebook. On Facebook, I saw somebody wrote something. Alle siger amen. Everybody say amen. Til at, at, nej, nej, det var det, var det der, det her, det var det. <laughs> det stod der. No, det er ikke mig der siger det, men that is what was on the on that tattoo on Facebook. Kan I, kan I huske kan I huske Solvej Vinter der også kom i kirken en gang? Kan I remember the one that was mentioned? Vi, der havde vi annonceret uh, en, der var en i kirken der var død. There was somebody who died in the church. Og hun havde jo ligesom den her vane med at sige amen halleluja til alle ting. He had that he was saying amen halleluja to everything. Så so jeg sagde der der vedkommende er død. Hallelujah! <laughs> and when I say that this kind of uh, these people died and so, shouted hallelujah, so, so, that's can man leave in for her setting finally. Sometimes you have to wait <laughs> to listen the set the sentence man, finish. Anyway, <laughs> but they have Facebook upslay. So stood on this Facebook status. There was written. L- Si amen. Everyone say amen. Til at denne generation er dem der kommer ind i løftets landet. And to this generation are those who are going to enter in the promised land. Jeg tænker mig det samme. Jeg bor der allerede. And I say, oh, I live Jeg there already. Jeg har krydset over. I have already passed through. Mit løftets land, det er Kristus. My promised land is Christ. Ja, i Jesus. I am in Christ. Det er mit løftets land. He is my promised land. Forstår du? You understand it? Mange de venter på det, der allerede er sket. Many are waiting for what has already happened. Det vil være det samme, som jeg siger til Claus, som sidder her på første række. It will be as I said to Claus sitting here. Klaus, en dag, der skal du nok blive gift. Klaus, one day you are going to get married. Det er sådan, de fleste kristne snakker. Det er uh, some cre- men of Christian speaker. Og Klaus, han tænker, hvad der er et eller andet galt med ham, Kim? Jeg er allerede gift. And Klaus will think uh, something is næste wrong gang, with Kim. I'm already married. En dag, så bliver du far til fire. And the next day I will say to Klaus, one day you become a father for four. Han tænker, jeg er allerede far til fire. He will think again, I'm already father for four. Så snakker mange kristne. That is how many Christians speak. In day, one day. Men i Guds hjerte. But in the heart of the Lord. That is today. It is today. I day. Today. Er det noget rigt stund? Is the grace day. I day. Today. Er det frelsens dag? Is the day of salvation. Ikke i morgen. Not tomorrow. Men i dag. But today. Hallelujah. Amen. Løftes landet er ikke når Gud han vil. The promised land is not when when God will. 
Gud han vil hele tiden. God will every time. Løfteslandet det er når du vil i Gud. The promised land is when you will in God. Reformation sker i det øjeblik. Reformation happens at that moment. At du bliver enig med Gud. You united with God. Og hvad Gud bestemt han tror om dig. And what God has predestined about you. Han tror om dig. Du tilgiv. He thinks about you that you are forgiven. Han tror om dig. Vi er familie. He thought of you that you are a member of a family. Han tror om dig. Du er iklædt. He thought of you. You have been clothed. Han har allerede besluttet. Jeg giver ham ringen. He has already given you a ring. Er autoritet. Of authority. Han har allerede besluttet. He has already decided. Jeg giver ham nye sko, så han kan gå rigtig i livet med formål. I give him new shoes so he can walk with purpose in his life. Han venter på at du He's just waiting for you Sia. to say. Jeg er enig med dig, Gud. I agree with you, Jesus. Jeg kan ingenting føle. I cannot feel anything. Men jeg ved det rigtigt alligevel. But I know that is true anyway. Jeg kan ikke rigtig mærke det. I cannot feel it. Men jeg ved det er sandt alligevel. But I'm sure that is true anyway. Hele verden skriger nej. The all earth is uh, shouting men, no. Men jeg ved du har sagt ja. Yeah. But I know that you have said yes. Og jeg er enig med dig. And I'm in agreement with you. Uanset om jeg kan føle det eller ej. Regardless if I can feel it or not. For mine følelser. For my feelings. Mine følelser. My feelings. De har taget fejl så mange gange før. They have been wrong many times. Mit hjerte my heart vil bedrage mig. Can deceive me. Derfor er jeg nødt til at bygge mit liv på sandheden i Guds That's why I have to build my life on the truth, the word of God. I Markus evangeliet, in the book of Matthew, så der optegnet 16 mirakler. There are 16 miracles been narrated. Som det ikke var Gud, der tog initiativet til. That it was not God who took the initiative. Wow. Amen. Hvem tog så initiativet? Who took the initiative? Det gjorde mennesker. It was people. Lad os tage initiativ til nogle mirakler. Let us take initi- initiative for miracles. Det er det profetiske ord til nogen, der sidder herinde, eller alle, der sidder herinde, og alle, der hører det. Lad os tage initiativ til nogle mirakler. This is a prophetic word for you sitting here, and all but are going to hear this. Take initiative for alle miracles. Slags. Every kind. Amen. Større ting skal I gøre, end jeg gør, sagde Jesus jo. And you will do, he will do. I første Mosebog 1, der ser vi sønnen Jesus. In, the first, in Genesis, we look about the son Jesus. Jesus, han er ordet. Jesus is the word. Gud sagde, Gud, han brugte ordet. God used the word. Til at skabe alt. To create everything. Du og jeg. You and me. Vi. We. Er skaberen af det apostolske hus. We are the creator of the apostolic house. Som skal arbejde her og der og alle vegne. We are going to minister here, there and everywhere. Jeg tror det. I believe it. Derfor taler jeg det. That is why I am speaking it. Ikke jeg føler, og så siger jeg mine følelser. Not I'm feeling it. That's why I'm speaking my feelings. Nej, jeg tror sandheden. No, I believe the truth. Hellige mig, gennem syre mig med sandheden. The truth overshower me. Jeg tror sandheden. I believe the Og truth. Og jeg taler, som jeg tror. And I speak as I believe. Ikke som jeg føler. And not Men as according to my feelings. Men som jeg tror. But what according to my faith. I løftes landet. In the promised land. I Kristus Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Så er det dig og Helligånden. It is you and the Holy Spirit. Der teamet sammen. Who are in the team together. Arbejder sammen med ham. Working together. Lær ham at kende. Learn him to know. Uh, lad os gå om i Matteus evangelie kapitel 4. Let's read in the book of Matthew chapter 4. Det vi hun nævnte lidt om det sidste søndag. David spoke about it uh, last Je- Sunday. Jesus blev fristet i ørkenen. At Jesus so tempted. Jesus han days. blev af ånden ført ud i ørkenen. Before, by the spirit Jesus was led. Det var ikke djævlen der førte ham ud i ørkenen. It was not the devil who led Jesus. Men ånden førte Jesus i ørkenen. By the spirit led Jesus. Hvorfor gjorde han det? Why did he do so? Fordi because they couldn't i ørkenen. 
Because in the desert, din identitet, den blev rodfæstet. It is where your identity been grounded. Djævlen kommer til ham. The devil come to him. Vers 3. The verse 3. I kapitel 4, vers 3, Matthæus evangeliet. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 3. Så kom fristeren. The tempter. Til Jesus. Came to Jesus. Han sagde. And say. Hvis du er Guds søn. If you are the son of God. Så sig til stenene der, at de skal blive til brød. Say to this a stone to become bread. Jesus answered, der står skrevet. And Jesus answered, it is written. Mennesket skal ikke leve af brød alene. Men shall not live by bread alone. Men er hvert et ord, der udgår af Guds mund. But, if, uh, but every word comes from the mouth Den of God. Den første test, du har på dit liv, the first test you have in your life, det er omkring identitet. It's about your identity. Hvem er du? Who are you? Og det er kun i ørkenen. And it's only in the desert. Det er kun med modstanden. It is only where you meet. Det er kun der hvor andre taler om dig, imod it, dig. It is when people speak about you. Der hvor du er alene med Herren. Where you are alone with the Lord. Og modstanden er som en kæmpe mur omkring dig. And difficulty is like a mountain for you. Det er der fristen han kommer og taler ind i dine ører. It's where where the tempter speak to you in your ears. Hvis if du er Guds søn. You are the son of God. Hvis du virkelig er Guds søn, if you are really son of God, hvordan kan det så være, at du er syg? How can there be that you are sick? Hvis du er, if you are, hvordan kan det så være, at du kæmper økonomisk? Then how can it be that you have financial problem? Hvis du er, if you are, Guds søn, the son of God, hvordan kan det så være, at du har nogle problemer i dit liv? And how can it be you are going through difficulty in your life? Har du hørt stemmen? Have you heard this uh, voice? Det er du må bestemme dig til, hvem du er. Then it's here you have to make a decision of hvad who var, you are. Hvad var Jesus svar tilbage? And what was the reply? Mennesket Jesus skal ikke leve af brød alene, men af hvert ord, som udgår af Guds mund. Man shall not live by the bread alone, but by every word coming from the mouth of God. Ja, ja. I am. Igen evangelen, der ser du Jesus igen og igen og igen. Through the gospel you'll see Jesus again and again. Bekræfter. Concluding. Ja, ja. That you are. Opstands in the life. The resurrection and the life. Ja, ja. I am. Livets brød. The bread of life. Ja, ja. I am. Det levende vand. The living water. No, du tror du er konge. No, you think you are a king. Ja, ja. Yes, I am. Så hvem er du? Then who are you? Det er spørgsmålet, du må besvare i dit eget liv. This is the question that you have to answer in your life. Men svaret det er, but the answer is, jeg er fuldstændig tilgivet. You are completely forgiven. Jeg er en del af Guds familie. You are a part of the family. Jeg er hans søn eller datter. You are his son or daughter. Han er min far. He is your father. Som er i himlen. Who is in heaven? Jeg er lige så retfærdig som Jesus Kristus. I am as righteous as Jesus Christ. Ikke på grund af min egen godhed. Not of my goodness. Men fordi jeg modtog hans godhed. But because I received his goodness. Det er hvem jeg er. That is who I am. Vers 5. Anden fristelse. The second test. Derefter tager djævlen ham med så op til den hellige stad og stiller ham på helligdommens tænder og siger til ham, hvis du er Guds søn, hvis du er den, du siger, du er, If you are the one that så styrt dig ned, for der står skrevet, han skal give sine engle befaling for dig, de skal bære dig på hænder, og du skal ikke støde din fod på nogen sten. Jesus sagde til ham, der står også skrevet, du må ikke friste Herren, din Gud. Så den første test handler om, Hvem er jeg? The first test is about of who you are. Den anden test det er. And the second test is. Vil du bevæge dig i din egen ressourcer? Will you move according to your own resources? Din egne evner. Your own abilities. Det du selv kan. 
What you are able to Eller do vil du yourself. begynde at bevæge dig i hans ressourcer? Or you will move according to hans his evner. His Og det han kan gøre igen dig. And what he can do through you. Det må du bestemme. You have to make a decision. Halleluja. Amen. Halleluja. Amen. For tilbage der lige efter finanskrisen. For some years back, just before the finance crisis. Og der fik vi også en finanskrise i Bibel og missionscenter. As we also had a finance crisis in a Bible church. Ikke på grund af noget vi egentlig havde gjort forkert. Not because of something we act wrongly. Men fordi at kirken valgte at give over 400.000 væk for at redde nogle andre. Because the church decided to give up, uh, about 400,000 to save for somebody else. Det var i den samme periode, Gud han begyndte at åbne dør op på missionsmarken. It was the same moment where God began to open doors for mission. Tror du stadigvæk, at I er kaldet til mission? Do you still believe that you are called for mission? Man? Der er jo ingen penge, Kim. Der er no money, Kim. Har du hørt fristeren? Anklageren, han snakker sådan til dig. Har du hørt accuser talking to this? Like. Det var så slemt, at jeg kan huske, at jeg var nødt til at fyre Jill i kirken. It was so bad that I had to fire Jill from church. Det er så en helt anden historie. Efter hun blev fyret, så blev hun så voldsomt velsignet. It's another story. After she got fired, she was blessed abundantly. Men det var slemt. But it was so Men vi udviklede et sprog i kirken. But we create a language in the church. For kontoen sagde nej. The account was saying no. Følelserne sagde nej. The feelings were saying no. Banken sagde nej. The bankmen say no. Men vi har hørt Gud, han sagde ja. But we heard God say yes. Vi var midt i ørkenen. We were in the midst of the Og vi begyndte, desert. vi udviklede det her, den her talemåde. And we made this speak. Hvis Gud han har sagt det. If God has said it, så vi gør det alligevel. Yes. Do it anyway. Så so alle de nationer vi er i, det gjorde vi alligevel. All these notions that we are in, we did them. I anyway. tror på at Gud, han er den der tilvejebringer det han bestiller. On faith that God is the one who made to accomplish what he has begun. Og de tester får vi alle sammen også i vores private liv. And this test we also receive them in our private life. Tredje test. The, se- uh, the third test. Handler om din fremtid og dit formål i livet. It's about your future and the purpose for life. Og hvad siger han her i vers 8? Djævlen tager ham med op på et højt bjerg og viser ham alle verdens rige og deres herlighed. Og han siger til ham, alt det vil jeg give dig, hvis du vil kaste dig ned og tilbe mig. Der siger Jesus til ham, vi er bort, satan, for der står skrevet, du skal tilbede Herren din Gud og tjene ham alene. Amen. Hvad er formålet med dit og mit liv? What the purpose for your life? Ikke at blive nogle store, vældige kalder konger over hele verden. Not to be a huge and great people over the world. Men mit formål og dit formål i livet, det er. But yours and my purpose for life is. Det er at tilbe Herren. To save the Lord. Med alt hvad du gør. With all that you do. Dit arbejde er en tilbedelse af Gud. Your job can be the din worship of the Lord. Din tjeneste er din tilbedelse af Gud. Your ministry can be a service for the Lord. Gør det det bedste du kan. Do it as the best of your ability. Og tjene ham. Save him. Det er formålet med vores liv. That is the purpose with our life. Folk udenfor. People out there. De må kunne se mænd og kvinder. See I den her menighed. From this church. De skal kunne se mennesker i Bibel og missionscenter. They have to see people from Bible and mission center. De skal se de arbejdsgrene og projekter vi har. You have to see the project and the work that we are doing. Og så skal de se mænd og kvinder. And they have to see men and women. Som har Guds natur i sig. With the nature of God. Guds DNA. The DNA of God. Er i dig. It is in you. Og det du gør. What you do. Det får Guds DNA i sig. He has the DNA of God. We rise us up. And we stand on our feet. Far, vi takker dig. Father, we say thank you. At du har så vidunderligt frelst os. That you have saved us amazingly. Det er større, end vi kan fatte og forstå. It's so amazing that we cannot understand it. Det er så skønt og vidunderligt. 
It's so amazing and wonderful. Or they sent. And it's true. Which I more. We receive it. In channel. The truth. In our life. In our life. Thank for full standard tilgules. Thank you for the completeness for giving. Now we are bekent for sin. And we we say our sins so in front of you. So we can pray So that we may be completely forgiven. We are endeavor in family. We are part of your family. Din elskede barn. Your loved children. We had a right to toy po. We have the correct the correct clothes. We had the right identity. We have the correct identity. We will when we are. We know who we are. For I will see not every man or queen here. For I bless each and every man and woman. I will see not our menighed. Bless this congregation. I will see not every one of them when they go to work in the morning. I bless each and everybody going to their work tomorrow. Or in the afternoon, or when they go. Or this this evening, whenever they were going to work. So they did the work with them. Let there be in their works. Come on, a influence of God's rule. Come in under your intervention. In Jesus Christ's name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hannah Valley is worthy. Do have it as it is. You have what it takes. Or do have more than enough of it. And you are more than enough. Begin using it. God bless you. Yeah.